Learning the code is hard as f Over 90% of online coding students end up quitting, and I bet that number is much higher for self-taught developers. However, this comes as no surprise because most people lack the right amount of discipline to learn how to code on their own. However, luckily for you, I'm going to show you how I've stayed disciplined over these past 10 months of learning to code, which took me from not being able to code to now where I'm building my own applications. The three main areas that we will be talking about today are the roadmap that you build, the rewards that you give yourself, and, and finally M and P, which I will talk about at the end. So the first thing is obviously the roadmap. No one freaking does this. Every single day, people start their programming journey. However, they end up quitting just weeks or months later. Why do you think that is? It's because they think that self-taught development means that they don't need like a special roadmap or a special curriculum for them to learn code. They do random tasks every day, like oh, I'm gonna learn Python this day, and then this day I'm gonna read a book, and then this day I'm gonna do this. Doing random tasks and hoping to see results is like driving a car blindfolded. And in order to build a roadmap, set a goal of what you want to achieve, look online for content in that niche, and build your own roadmap. And for me, I kept quitting and I kept getting mad at myself because I lacked discipline. When in reality, if I had a roadmap, I would have been able to stay on track and stay disciplined because I had that like path forward. And if you want like a roadmap of web development, I'll leave it in the description below. The next thing you want to do is build reward systems for yourself. This is one thing that I wish I implemented sooner. You have to remind yourself that you are human and that you need reward systems in order to stay motivated and disciplined, especially at the beginning of our journey where we're not going to see progress, rewarding yourself through extra screen time, maybe going to the movies or buying yourself nice is such a great way to build up discipline and motivation. By rewarding yourself, it builds a positive feedback loop where you want to show up and code every day. If you are not rewarding yourself, you're gonna end up quitting. So maybe every like week or two or every time you achieve something huge in your programming journey, reward yourself. And honestly, this doesn't even have to be big. I, I've rewarded myself by going to the movies. I've bought a microphone and as soon as I finish this roadmap that I'm building, which has really challenged me, I'm going to buy a new camera. And obviously I had to save up for it and I, I had to find the funds, but it could be, it doesn't have to be anything that's bank breaking. And the final and most important way to stay motivated and disciplined while learning to code is M and P. M and P is also known as meaning and purpose. And before you click off this video, please listen to me. Meaning and purpose is the reason why we are doing what we are doing. And honestly, sit there for a second, maybe take out a piece of paper and write it down. Why do you want to learn code? For me, I want to retire my parents. I want to live a good life. I want to provide for my future kids. I don't want to have to worry about money in the future. And what most people see as discipline is just a really strong meaning and purpose. For me, I haven't missed a day of coding in over six months. And it's not because I'm stronger than people. It's not because I have a stronger willpower. It's because my why is powerful. I have a purpose to get up every single morning and suffer and learn. The things we are learning is not easy. And especially as self-taught developers, we're coming from a disadvantage. And by having that why, that meaning, that, that reason to get up in the morning, it's nearly impossible not to be disciplined. And if there's one thing I want you to get out of this video, it's to understand your meaning and purpose. If you enjoyed this video, you'll really like this video right here.